Gladiators, the pro wrestlers of the Roman time. As they enter the arena, showered in glory, the audience cheers, and the band plays circus music. What you just heard was a piece called "Entrance of the Gladiators." Perhaps you are more familiar with this piece of music in this context. That's right, clowns. Why is a piece associated with circus and clowns titled "Entrance of the Gladiators"? Clowns are certainly not fearless fighters fighting for fame. Well, that's because "Entrance of the Gladiators" wasn't composed for jesters fooling around for a barrel of laughs. It was originally supposed to be a military march. Czech composer Julius Fučík had a great mustache. He was a military bandmaster in Sarajevo for the Austrian-Hungarian army. Don't mistake him for the other Austrian-Hungarian mustached man who got assassinated in Sarajevo to cause a world war. Julius Fučík composed the piece in 1899, although he originally titled the march "Grand Marche Chromatique," which means the Great Chromatic March. This is because the piece contained a lot of fast chromatic scales and intervals. A chromatic scale consists of ascending or descending half steps. A half step can be visualized on a keyboard, where the notes are right next to each other. Fučík wanted to show off the fast and clear chromatic scales brass instruments are capable of. However, because of his personal interest in Roman history and Roman gladiators, Grand Marche Chromatique was renamed to Entrance of the Gladiators. It was an upbeat march with majestic brass sounds cheering the army forward. Unbeknownst to Julius Fučík, Canadian composer Louis Philippe Lorando rearranged the march in 1910 with the new name Thunder and Blazes. The brass sections were replaced by woodwinds and strings. Thunder and blazes was sold across North America. It gained insane popularity as a screamer among circuses. A screamer march is a quick tempoed march used to excite the audience for the entrance of a jester. As clowns messed about in their shenanigans, the song was ingrained into the audience as the theme for clowns, just like the theme for Mario. Or the theme for Harry Potter. Every time the entrance of the gladiators was played, we instantly associate the theme with clowns. The chromatic scales now accompany whatever tomfoolery is going on on stage. So, how did this military march become so famous? Well, nobody knows. Perhaps it is just such memorable music. No matter the reason, this piece has been entertaining people for decades. And entertaining is what music is all about.